Hi, thank you for joining me, all you moms to be, for this prenatal yoga class. Please make sure to read the description and also have clearance from your doctor to be participating in prenatal yoga. And also for this class, if you can have two blankets or two pillows, blanket and pillow, um, we'll be needing them for our Shavasana. And as we practice, please make sure if you start to get dizzy or lightheaded, or even though it's a prenatal class, something might not feel good in your body. So be sure to honor yourself as always. All right. So, diving. Needed. And root down through your six bones. And settle in. And you can let your eyes close. We're going to take our hands onto our belly. Take a deep breath in, reach the shoulders up to the ears. Big sigh, roll the shoulders back and down. <sighs> Inhale, reach the shoulders up to the ears. And a big sigh, <sighs> roll the shoulders back and down. One more time. Inhale, reach the shoulders up to the ears. Sigh it out. Ah, relax the shoulders away from the ears and lengthening your spine. Lift the center of the chest, the heart center. Lengthen crown of the head towards the sky. So we're sitting up nice and tall. And we're taking our awareness within ourselves. Good for you for taking this time to care for yourself. Some of you might already have little ones that you're caring for, or some of you, this might be your first time carrying a child. And it's very important to take time to care for yourself. And practicing yoga and practicing the breath to calm you and relax you, which is important because this can be a stressful, anxious time. We have all this other stuff going on in the world with the COVID right now, but you're carrying a child, and sometimes it can be a lonely journey. So it's important to give yourself what you need to care for yourself in the way that you need to be for. And when you connect to your center, maybe coming out with a deeper sense of peace and trust, knowing that you are safe, that you're held in the arms of the universe, the divine, or whatever higher power you believe. So as you begin to Come into your body. Let's lengthen out our breath if you haven't already. By lengthening the breath, we turn on the relaxation response. So bit by bit, make each breath last a bit longer. Caring for yourself is the best thing you can do for the baby that you're growing inside. When you inhale, feel lifting, you're lengthening. Each time you exhale, settle into the earth. Oh, rise and fall of the breath, the baby gently rocking to the side, riding the waves of life. You 
to separate yourself from everything you have going on outside of yourself. Take the weight you carry, just take it off your shoulder. Give yourself permission. As mothers, we carry the weight of the world on our shoulders. And even if this is your first child, you are a mother. You really are. Take a few more breaths here for the next couple of breaths. Feeling your hands on your belly. And think of bringing warmth and love from the heart, from the arms to the hands. Belly flowing, beautiful. Take an inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, flipping the hands in the opposite direction. Press out through the base of the palms, spread the fingers, pause at shoulder height. Curl in pinky finger, ring finger, middle finger, pointer finger. Thumb wraps around, fist into forearm, hold. Notice what you're feeling. All sorts of different new sensations in the body of a pregnant woman. What's going on in there for you? What's coming up? And circle out those wrists. Can we embrace what we're feeling in our body without resistance? I remember when I was pregnant, I felt like an alien had taken over my body. First, the opposite direction with those circles. And I have to say, I, don't, I was very young, and I didn't embrace it in the way that I wish I did. Being pregnant. I resisted the sensation. Dark I encourage you not to the chin. Let it soak your Inhale, reach the arms up. Hearts rise. And this time, let your left hand go down. Arch. Be mindful not to over compress on your left side. Roll your upper shoulder back. Space and openness across the front body. Gaze can be forward or tuck your chin. Gaze up towards your inner arm. Breathe through the body. You need your full deep breath. And the baby needs your full deep breath. Inhale, reach up at center. And exhale, second hand comes down and reach. So press the earth with your right hand so your sits bones are evenly grounded into the earth beneath you. Inhale, we reach and rotate open. 
and the exhale, settle down into the earth. Find where you want your head, where it's most comfortable in your neck. One more breath in, keep space on the right side. On your exhale, slowly release. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, dropping left ear to left shoulder. And then we'll drop chin down towards our chest, rolling head to the second side. Your choice. You can come all the way back to the head, or if that doesn't feel good, just going side to side. Just loosening up the neck muscles. Knowing that as you move and as you breathe into the neck, you're releasing accumulated stress and tension. Let's clean out any stress and anxiety that we're feeling. your head back on up, leaning over to the left. Let's circle around. Making these circles. Now, I probably should have put something here so I can be mindful of pregnancy limits, but I don't, so I'm going to try to catch myself if I start going deeper than you probably have the ability there. So, legs are crossed, but as you circle, you might want to pull those legs away from the body, or maybe even bring the soles of the feet together. It's all about creating space for the baby. You don't want to squish the baby. Or the surroundings of the baby. And opposite direction. Big circles. Loosely the lower back. Shoulders, the head and neck. Depending on where you are in your pregnancy, is really going to change where you're really feeling sensations or tightness. Really far along. Really getting into that lower back. Really tight, carrying the weight of a baby. Doing such important work. All right, release back up. And we're going to come on to all fours. Nice. Okay, nice and slow. Find your tabletop. And just for a moment, just let the belly hang. Breathe. Press palms into the earth, backs of the knuckles into the earth, lift up and out of the shoulders. And just keep breathing here. In the belly, release towards the earth. And taking the pressure off the organs. Of course, there's added pressure there. Nice to take that weight off for a few breaths. Your organs, some breathing space. And taking this our cat and cow movements, tilt the pelvis, belly drops hardly. On your exhale, tuck pelvis round, spine, spread shoulder blades, drop head and neck. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, rebound, but be, be mindful not to really squeeze the core. We want to be very mindful when it comes to moving our core if we're pregnant. So don't really suck it. In. Going at the pace of your breath, slow, fluid, moving in a way where you know and trust that you have all the time. Time. 
back into a neutral spine. And we'll take your right leg up, right, right leg out, plant the arch of your foot up with your knee. Activate the muscles of your extended leg. And then coming on up, once you have your foundation, adjusting as you need. Let your right arm be relaxed. Inhale, left arm comes by the ear. Exhale, arch towards your extended leg. Keep the leg active. This is your quadricep, upper thigh, activate that muscle. It's not an aggressive clenching, but it is active to protect the joint. Another breath in. On your exhale, slowly release up. That slows down. Now we're going to take our hands back to the earth. Hold it here, keeping the leg out. Plant your left palm down. Inhale, right arm. The mental chatter, the monkey mind, to reason. Notice what's caught your attention and then return to the breath. Return to the sensation of the movement. One more breath in, maybe open a little more. On your exhale, slowly float down the right hand. And let your right knee come in. Left leg comes up. Finding me up with the arch of your foot. Come on up. That foot is flat with the toes facing forward. If your foot is rolling in, then bring a blanket into the outs underneath the outside of your foot. Like so. Okay, or you can roll onto your heel and the toes face up. Activate the muscles of that leg. Left arm relaxes down. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Big lots of space along the right side. And then arch. Deep breaths. Each exhale, just settle in. Try with this. More breath. On your exhale, mind down. Notice that your arm floats down. Hands to the earth. Pause. If your extended leg is still active and the base of the foot is connected to the earth. If you're dropping your head and, you can, and you're gazing towards your navel, bring the head back up. Your gaze should be maybe a, an inch in between your hands, an inch above the hands, if that makes sense. Very important in yoga where we decide to put our gaze. With an inhale, let's open up to the right side. Press down through your right hand as you reach with your left hand, making space across the heart center. Open up. Full breaths. Take in that life force. Let it flow throughout the body. Let it flow to your base. One more breath in. On your exhale, slowly release the hand down. Bring the leg in. I'm going to take both feet between our hands, and our feet are going to be wider than hip width to make space. So both feet, bend your knees. So enough space so that your belly is between the legs and the thighs aren't swishing on the belly. And we're going to fold here. 
Soften the knees, either grab opposite elbow, hold behind the legs, hands to the earth. If this is really bothering your back, then you can stay with a flat back with head, neck, and spine in alignment. Wherever you choose to be, most important part is just keep that breath flowing. It will keep you centered and open to the experience of your practice without attachments to where you want to be or how you want to look in a position. Just let all that go. Take one more breath. Long, slow exhale and long breath. With your knees bent, take your hands to your legs and slowly walk your hands up your legs. If you start to get dizzy, pause. Give yourself some time to adjust. And then once you've adjusted, roll up even more. Keep your head down. Take as much time as you need. Remember, it's all about you. Head will come up last. Once you're ready, let's roll those shoulders up, back, and down. Inhale. Hearts rise. Palms press overhead. And a cleansing. Letting go. Inhale, spread those fingers, opening up. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, open up. A slow cleansing exhale, returning heart, safe, and protected. Take your feet wide. Toes angled out. Inhale. Reach your arms up. Exhale. Squat it down. Got to squat. So this first time around, I'm just going to tell you a couple of things. So your outer thighs press back behind you. Okay? Tailbone drops straight to the earth. Toes are free. Weight is in the base of the foot. Okay? So on the inhale, we'll straighten our legs. Arms come up. Exhale, drop it down, opening the pelvis. Inhale, open. Exhale, sink it down. Inhale, open. Exhale, sink it down. Inhale, open. Exhale, drop it down. One more time, inhale, open. Exhale, drop it down to hold. Breathing. Find your edge here. If you need to back away a little bit, honor yourself. Or if you think you got a little more, drop it down lower. Let's take our right hand to our left leg. If you're really low, you might have your forearm there. Okay. Take your left arm up and arm. You won't be here long. Keep those breaths complete. Don't lose the integrity of the breath. We'll take one more breath in. Exhale, release up. Left arm down, right arm up. Inhale, and exhale, arch. Invite in the warming sensation in the legs. You can do it, you're strong, you're strong enough. Don't talk yourself out of it. One more breath in. Exhale, release back up and straighten those legs. Notice after sensation. Turning your left toes in and your right toes towards the edge of your mat. And the knee. So we're finding our warrior two. So we have a heel to heel alignment. Drop it down. Again, if you want to lessen the bend in the knee if you need to, 
or deep in its thighs, parallel over the earth. Where's your edge today? We'll take our arms out. Head, neck, and spine is in alignment. Sometimes here we tend to lean forward. Can you catch yourself if you're doing that and bring it back? Stacking over the hips. Take a peek at your right knee and make sure it's going towards the pinky toe of your foot. Sometimes we drop that knee in. So we want that thigh moving outward. That's going to open up the pelvis. Close the eyes or a soft gaze. Take another breath in, lift your heart. Exhale, drop it down a little more. And we'll take another breath in together. On your exhale, taking your right forearm to your thigh, have your palm facing up towards the sky. And left arm is gonna come by your ear for extended side angle. Opening the line of energy along the left side, can you root down through the outer edge of that foot as you reach with your hand and think of it, you're taking your energy in opposite directions, making space, and that's what we want, space for the energy to move. Anywhere that's tight, it's just blocking the flow of energy. Take one more breath. On your exhale, can you press through your feet and lift the torso after pressing the feet, and then your arm floats down. Straighten your front leg, turning, so pivot your right foot in, left toes to the edge of your mat. Heel to heel alignment. Once you have your foundation, arms come out. Find your edge. Direct your tailbone towards the front thigh. That way we're not overarching the low back. Can you settle into stillness here and just let the breath swirl around throughout your body? yourself into a calm, centered, grounded place is good for your baby. You are creating that internal environment. By yoga and meditation, when you're pregnant, it's really going to help that internal environment that your baby is in. You can smile, keep yourself in that positive, uplifted state. One more breath in. On your exhale, sink it down a little lower. Inhale. And on your exhale, forearm to the thigh, palm faces towards the sky, and left arm reaches up. So here in our extended side angle, we want from the pelvis all the way up to shine forward. So if we're dropping down with that right hip point, see if you can roll that back, roll that up. Anchor through outer edge of right foot and reach with your right arm, making space. Any internal adjustments so this works in your body, that it feels right. One more breath in. On your exhale, let your arm float down, pressing through that left foot, and lift the torso up. Parallel the feet, heel toe the feet in just a little closer. And 
These circles can be as small or as big as you want. Opposite direction. And take your feet together. Let's roll the left ankle. Little balance here, so steady your gaze. And roll that ankle up the opposite direction. Keep the heart lifted. This isn't just something to keep you busy. Always keep that mindfulness. Let the foot flow down. Anchor through the left foot and lift your right foot. Lift it hard. Strong. Circle out that ankle. Opposite direction. Let your foot go down. Take your feet a little bit wider, as much space as you need for the baby. Inhale, hearts rise. Exhale, tilt your pelvis, leave with the heart, bend the knees, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then hands to the earth, take your left leg back, drop the knee. For a kneeling lunge. Front knee, stack over the ankle. Adjusting your left knee as you need to so that you are in a good place with a hip flexor so that you can come in or back as much as you need. When you feel ready, pressing feet into the earth and loop, reaching your arms up. On your exhale, slowly bring your hands down. Bring your right knee back and your left foot forward. Find your kneeling lunge, adjust the back knee, stacking front knee over ankle. If you're ready, press down to reach up, root to rise. We lift and expand on the inhale. We find the earth and root into the earth on the exhale. Let's take one more breath in. On your exhale, hands to the earth. Bring your knee back. Curl, we're going to bring your knees hip width apart. Curl under your toes. Palms to the earth. Lift your knees. We're going to take it back to downward facing dog. Just a couple breaths here. So you can do downward dog when you are ready. Um, but if we hold this, we're not going to hold it for too long. But if it just really is working for you today, never know what's going to come up in your body, then you can find melting heart or come right into child's pose or into a seated position and be with your breath. If you are in your downward dog, let's take our feet wide. And let the feet loosen up. Then let yourself settle into stillness. One more breath in. On your exhale, knees to the earth. Knees are wide, big toes together, reaching hips to heels. Knees are wide enough to make space for the belly in between. And we'll lower down. Forehead either to the earth. You can stack your hands so your forehead is rested on something if the earth is too far. Or you can take one of your blankets onto your head. Whatever is good. 
We're going to close those out. Your palms into the earth, or so. Bow the knees and take a slow transition. Actually, before we transition, let's just pause here for a moment. We're going to drop our hips to the right, come through center, drop the hips to the left. Time to get a little bit into the outer hip. Side to side, slowly. Three times, one more time, each side. Transition onto your seat. Again, I'm going to turn this way. You will be able to see me better. Take your feet to the earth, but the knees are, uh, it's a very little bend in the knee here, or less of a bend in the knee here. Lean back. Take your right ankle onto your left thigh. Flex in your right foot. Roll those shoulders back. You can stay here, you might already be at your edge, or slide your foot in until you meet your edge. You can also walk your hands in, bringing your torso more upright. Find that place, spine is long, close the eyes and breathe. Maybe you want to take your hand to your inner thigh, give it a gentle press.
Feel the sensation as it moves deeper. As your edge shifts and changes, you might move the foot in more. And depending on how much of a belly you have, depends on how much you can bring that torso up. forward on up and just take a little pull towards the extended leg flex the foot uncross the leg We'll take our right foot to the earth, lean back, take your left ankle onto your right thigh and flex the foot. You might already be at your edge or slide the foot in towards the body. Walk hands in so the torso comes closer to the legs. Find your edge, close the eyes and bring full awareness to sensation. Breathing right through the sensation. Sciatic issues can be really, uh, are pretty common with pregnancy. So it actually, if you are inflamed and that area is already bothering you, that you might want to opt out of this particular yoga pose. But if it's not bothering you, then this is a great way to prevent that. Anyone who had issues with their sciatic nerve knows that it's painful and it really stinks. So to prevent it, it's a good thing. You're doing a good thing right here. Breathing through where you're feeling sensation, keeping the energy flow open in the area. One more breath in, lengthen. On your exhale, slide your right leg out, flex the foot, hinge forward. So be mindful you're not bending at the waist, okay? Just lean forward from the top of the thighs towards your flexed foot. Hands can be on either side of that leg, maybe fingertips on the mat and slightly traction the mat back. Time long and heart lifted. One breath in. On your exhale, uncross the leg, feet to the width of your mat. Lean back. Let's drop knees side to side. As you drop the knees, one side, hip lifts. Beautiful. Okay. So. If you could come up near a wall too, that would be wonderful. We're not going to use the wall yet. We're going to start bringing our legs wide. Hmm. Straighten your legs or you can bend your knees. See with both of them how they feel and what feels to be a better place for you. 
Either way you choose, we're going to keep the feet flexed. Length in the spine. Think of keeping your knees pointed up towards the sky. So we have like an outward rotation here. Thighs roll outward. So you might already be at your edge. And that is perfect. Close your eyes and breathe. If you want a little more, you can walk the fingertips forward. As far as you like, but again, we're bending at the top of the thighs, not at the waist. of your breath, the tune out of the chatter in the room. Hands to outer thigh, eye and legs together, come shake. Knees are bent, hands behind the hips, but a little bit wider, and spread your finger. Press your palms into the earth. Let's give a lift. And then lower it. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. Pressing through the feet and the palms. That's how it's going to help you get your lift. Lower. And then this time we're going to lift those hips and hold, keeping chin in towards the chest. Shoulder blades move towards each other to assist the lift in the chest. Lengthen your knees forward. Our breath in. Yeah. Lower. Right hand in front of you, left hand behind. Take a little twist, keeping the heart lifted. One more breath in. Exhale, unwind. And opposite hand forward, hand behind you, inhale, lift, exhale, rotate. We rotate chest and shoulder, so in a regular, regular yoga class, it's belly, chest, shoulder. When you are pregnant, think of chest and shoulder rotating, and think of trying to keep the belly facing. the soles of your feet. Feel the wall supporting you. Let's bounce those legs a little bit here. Eventually, still out the leg, take your hands to your leg. Close your eyes. Back of the neck is long, so slightly drop the chin so chin is parallel to the earth.
be in your shavasana for a couple minutes in a beach meditation. Be shavasana. So for shavasana, do you move away from the wall? You're gonna grab your blanket, your two blankets. I have a blanket and a bolster. And you're going to bring a blanket or a pillow between the thighs. And another pillow or blanket under your head. So just like you're sleeping. This can be a way that feels right for you. You might not even need that. You can maybe rest on your arm. Find a good place. If it's comfortable to bring your hand to your belly, bring your hand to your belly. Feel more of that connection. Deep breath in. Allowing peace, relaxation to flow throughout your body. Loving kindness. Starting yourself. Repeating in your mind, I 
May I be happy. May I be radiantly healthy. May I continue to grow and change. May I feel loved and supported. May I be happy. May I be radiantly healthy. May I continue to grow and change. May I feel loved and supported. Next, bringing to your mind your partner. Whoever your partner is in this newborn baby's life. As you think of this person, saying to them, may you be happy. May you be radiantly healthy. May you continue to grow and change. May you feel my love. May you be happy. May you be radiantly healthy. May you continue to grow and change. May you feel my love. And next, bringing to your mind, sending these words towards the baby. May you be happy. May you be radiantly healthy. May you continue to grow and change. May you feel my love. My baby, may you be happy. My baby, may you be radiantly healthy. My baby, may you continue to grow and change. My baby, may you feel my love. Next, we move towards the family unit. Thinking of this family unit, may we be happy together. May we all be and stay healthy. May we all continue to grow and change. May we share love together. May we be happy together. May we all be and stay healthy. May we all continue to grow and change. May we share love together. Bring one more moment here. Just send your love to the baby coming inside. And also sending love again to yourself. You need to care for yourself. Nurture yourself. You are important. You're ready, come up into a seated position, moving slowly. And once you're up, let's take our palms together at heart center and another cleansing, breath in. And a big breath out. Thumbs coming up to our third eye. The light in me bows to the light in each of you. And together we say, Namaste.
you for joining me, all you mommies to be. Thank you for letting me be part of your journey. And let me know if you enjoy this, because I would be happy to post more prenatal videos if you want. Okay? Take care of yourself. Have a good day. Namaste.